All right, today we are going to install some beta oil pump gears that are steel. And I went ahead and bought the entire kit from, I believe I got this from AOMC. Um, not sure. Um, but anyway, uh, I've got the entire kit here. Get rid of those plastic gears. It's a good time to go ahead and put my oversized water pump in. Same time, right here. And some bling items, you know, because they're cool, right? Um, some engine plugs, oil filter cover, and of course, new oil um, gaskets. So, um, first thing you want to do is take the engine out of the bike. No, I'm just kidding. You don't, <laughs> you don't have to do that. I'm doing a lot of other stuff. So, for me, I've got my engine out of the bike. But normally there'll be a brake pedal here that's in the way, so you'll disconnect that, remove it, at least get it out of the way, drain the coolant, and I like to drain the oil. Some people say change the oil. Um, I don't like to put fresh oil back in it yet, so drain the oil, and after we're completed, we'll put fresh oil in, and it's kind of a weird thing I do. Um, I'll usually flush the engine. I'll pour a few ounces of oil in the engine with the plugs out um, and the transmission side so that it just knocks any more debris that's in there out. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and um, I've already taken, obviously I've already drained the coolant by removing this screw and loosening the screw on the radiator. I did that actually while I was still on the bike. Um, you're gonna, you don't need to pull this clutch cover off. You actually can just pull this entire cover off and get at it. Um, that way you don't mess up. Well, it's just an extra step. You don't have to take this clutch cover off. All right, let's get into it. All right, here we go. We've already got our red engine plugs in here. I think they add like one horsepower per, so we ought to be up like four horsepower just off of those. All right, um, I brought both of these impact guns out here so you could see. These are both little quarter inch deals. I don't use anything bigger on my dirt bikes. And I wanted to show you the difference. This Porter Cable, um, this Porter Cable Impact Gun, it's a, it's a great gun. It's light duty. It's for around the house. Um, and that's it. I don't use this on my dirt bike because it doesn't have a controlled torque setting. What I mean is, here's my DeWalt. Hopefully you can see that. It's got a one, two, and a three for my torque settings, and I never, ever, ever go above two on my engine, and I usually do one. I keep it on one for tightening, and I use a torque wrench. So if you put this thing on three and you tighten these engine cases, you will break them. You will strip them. You will break them. Bad things will happen. So, all right, moving on. So I've got an eight millimeter. We're going to go around with my eight millimeter. We're going to loosen all of these cover bolts. Again, you don't need to take these clutch cover ones off. I've already got my water pump cover off since I'm going to do the oversized water pump. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background. My wife has chickens. Pay about 60 bucks a week and we sell about six dollars worth of eggs. Yeah, it's great. Alright. Um, so anyway, I don't really worry about the order of my bolts. I pretty much know. These all so far are the same length. But I'll show you a trick in just a second for sticking in your bolts so basically you set your bolts in the hole push them all the way in until they hit the threads they should all stick out the same length if you happen to have one and let me grab one that's not the right one and you stick it in there it'll stick out a long way I don't know if you can make that out there and that's how you can quickly identify which bolt goes in which hole all right I'm gonna go ahead and get this cover off here Okay, um, I forgot to tell you to take off the acorn nut from the water pump. And this was a booger to kind of get off. So I didn't waste your time on the video getting it off. 
but I just kept wiggling it back and forth and prying it. Um, if you use a screwdriver or something to pry with, be very careful and very gingerly because you don't want to scar this surface here. You don't want to scar anything on your engine for that matter. All right, so we should be able to pop this case off now. And I'm not reusing this gasket, so I wasn't I wasn't very careful, and I tore it. Um, but I don't use re reuse gaskets anyway. So, all right, there we go. Next thing we have to do is we need to remove all these uh, bolts for the uh, pressure plate. We need to pull the the basket off. And we can get down there. You can already see one of the plastic gears. The other plastic gear is here. And when I go back on, I'll be putting longer bolts because it, the oversized water pump comes with a spacer and it comes with a bigger, a bigger wheel uh, to move more water. Hence, uh, oversized water pump. All right. All right, um, I, I guess I should go back and clarify something. Um, one, I was kidding about these for the oil plugs. And two, since I'm doing the water pump, I needed to remove the acorn nut and the wheel. If you are not doing the water pump, you can, you can leave that together and pull the cover off. As you can see here, this piece just, when you put it back on, you have to orient it so it, it'll... It'll get down in there. Um, all right. So next thing I have to do, let me make sure you can see, is I have to bend these tabs back. And the kit I ordered came with a new one. Go ahead, splurge, get the whole kit. All right. I've gotten these tabs flattened back. The directions say to use chisel I don't do that use a brass drift brass punch tap them in lightly now I've got a 27 millimeter got the transmission in neutral and I've already got it all right there we go no fancy clutch holding tools except for my hand all right, now that we've got that off, the plastic oil pump gears have, um, this one has a circlip here. So go ahead and get your circlip pliers. Pull that off. All right. Pulls your gear off. And be careful not to lose the little clip on the small gear. Now lay them down just like they came off because when you go back on, you want to make sure. They go the proper way. So it should be. Oh. So you see this little pin, this dowel pin that keeps coming out. There's a slot for it in the back. Got to line it up just right. Wow, that was easier than it looked. All right, now this gear, the larger gear, get it lined up in there, just like so. And see how they're flush? That's how you know you have them on the correct way. All right, we've got the thrust washer back on. Now we need to get the circlip. 
back on. You definitely want to make sure this is in there. All right, it is. I know some of you probably have a better way to get that on than I do. All right, there's your plastic gears. My bike only has, I don't know, 30, 30 hours on it. So, of course, I was expecting the plastic gears to look good, and they do, but they definitely um, need to be replaced. You lose about 25 horsepower putting the heavier gears in because it's rotating mass. No, I'm just kidding. Just like I was kidding, these don't add any horsepower. Hopefully everybody knows that. All right, now we've got to put everything back together. And I'm not using that. I'm going to replace it. So, like I said, get your gear put on the right way so you don't do that. All right, we've got that back in there. And... Uh, it came with two of these washers, and you go back with the one that looked the closest. So obviously I went back with the one that looked just like this, and this one's an extra one. And I've got everything torqued back up and flattened back down. So just got to reinstall the clutch pack. All right, when you're putting your pressure plate back on, well, it's back up to the clutch. Let's make sure... You put your clutch fibers back in like they like they came out and uh, when you do these make sure you stagger them like if you're putting on a wheel don't want to put one side all the way in and then the next one and no you don't want to do that go in a star pattern all right we've got our pressure plate back on we've got our clutch surf I mean our gasket surface cleaned up and now it's time to install our cover. All right, got the water pump down in there. Gasket looks, looks good. All of these bolts were the same length. So I just want to put a couple in there, threading them lightly keep the cover from moving I mean the gasket sorry the gasket from moving around all right I'll get these tightened up all right so we've got our acorn nut we've got our new water pump pulley on I've taken the spacer plate put the gasket in it the gasket goes facing this way sort of going like that we'll take the new longer bolts and we'll grab our, our cover everything's clean all right all right and then our copper our brass um Copper washer, gas, copper, goes down here for the drain, get them all kind of finger tight, again got my torque setting on one, and I'm going in pretty easy, go back with my torque wrench, if you guys haven't been over to betariders.org, there's this nice handy Beta RR chassis torque table that you can print out. And um, it's got some nice little notes back here and a disclaimer. So um, this is an excellent um, sheet to, to go by if you're, uh, if you're not quite sure, you don't have a manual, um, what have you. But make sure you torque your bolts. This is, we're dealing with aluminum and magnesium and other soft metals that strip very easily and things crack and break. So make sure you guys do that. So we've got our water pump on here. Let me see if I can't get a better 
angle on that for you so you can see the spacer plate there. All right, and you needed that to get it away from the longer gears. So that wraps up the steel oil pump gears and the oversized water pump and our blinging four horsepower plugs, engine plugs. So hope this helps someone. I uh, did make a few mistakes. You may have caught some of them um, by parts I had left laying on the table that I didn't put in there. But um, the good thing is it came with directions. I didn't follow them because I've done a couple of these before and I still made some minor mistakes. Everything is put in correctly and everything I said on camera was for the most part correct. So there you go and there you be. Thank you.